Hi everyone, you're on Moby channel and I'm glad to see you back on my channel. And I'm also glad that today we have something to talk about, because recently a new episode of Skibbity Toilet Multiverse by Dom Studio was released. And despite the fact that this episode will be divided into two parts, there is a lot to talk about, so be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, let's reach the mark of 500,000 subscribers, and also do not forget to like and join my Discord server because it is there the most new leaks of information of your favorite universe skibbity toilet. But anyway we begin. Part 1 of the 34th episode continues from the point where the last 33rd episode ended, specifically in the location where the enemies forced the Titan Clockmans not to engage in combat. The enemies did it in a very clever way, because if he does not hold back this area with his own forces, the Titans and he himself will suffer greatly. Therefore, Titan's TV man and cameraman enter the battle with scientist improved Astro Skibbity Toilet. The scientist starts to attack the Titan cameraman, and he manages to hold back the barrage of lasers, but it doesn't last long, because the scientist is also helped by the Astro Toilet. Luckily, Titan cameraman has his friend Titan TV man by his side, who is already flying towards the scientist to kick his ass. And if not for the shield, which activated Skibbity Scientist, from the robot scientist would be one kebab. Next, the scientist attacks the titan using his cannon, but the TV man dodges and disconnects his additional TVs to help him in the fight and then, to buy time, the scientist activated the speakers and with a loud sound made the titan be stunned, but his TVs kept attacking and then the scientist activated his magnets to attract them. But the third TV did not fall into this trap and gave the scientist a good frying with his laser. Their battle continued, but the camera switched to the titan cameraman, who cannot damage the astro toilet because he is very fast and then the titan has an ingenious plan. He flies into the air and maximizes his magnetic cannon. At one point I thought he was going to change the magnetic field of the entire planet, but no, he only maximized the effect of his magnet and at the moment and the astro toilet was flying over him, he was able to stop it. The force of the magnet was so powerful that the chamberlain was able to topple his opponent to the ground. The cameraman then fired his laser cannon at the toilet, but he didn't realize that the astro toilet has a special claw that can catch the damage it receives from the laser. The opponent took advantage of this and reflected a blow to the titan's cameraman. From the resulting blow, the titan's hammer fell directly on the titan scientist's head. And frankly it looks very funny. Here's a look at what it looks like. And at this point, the titan TV man was able to get as close to the scientist as possible in order to use his red mad astonishment. And despite the fact that the scientist was very weakened by the radiation, that even his magnets let go of the Titan TV man, he had enough energy left in him to charge a laser and fire it at the TV man. There was an explosion, but TV man successfully survived it. We then switch back to Titan cameraman. Their battle with Astro Toilet again takes place in the air and cameraman again decides to use his powerful magnet to stop his opponent and he succeeds again but this time Astro Toilet takes him by the neck, but Cameraman does not give up and at full speed he heads to the nearest rock. Cameraman is on top and he decides to end this fight once and for all, but the opponent also activated his cold weapon and at the moment when Cameraman tried to hit Astro Toilet, Astro was able to pierce his arm. But the Titan was not confused, but only increased the tension in his arm and directed the sharp end of his opponent's blade right to his eye and although Cameraman did not fall into a rage, he still managed to damage the improved Astro Toilet. But he didn't kill him, looks like this toilet is also controlled by someone, because if it wasn't, the Astro Toilet would have died from the damage it took. Then the opponents decide to tactically retreat, or everything goes according to their plan, further you will understand why I said so. Titan Skibbity Scientist tries to teleport, but Titan TV Man starts to absorb teleportation energy and Scientist would not have moved, but Astro Toilet hit Titan TV Man and it interrupted the portal absorption. The Astro Toilet then said goodbye to the Titans and flew away very quickly, and the scientist was able to teleport safely. But Titan TV Man does not intend to let them go there quickly and just let them go, so he went after them. Meanwhile, Titan Clock Man was holding the missile site so that they couldn't reach the target. Titan Cameraman asked with a gesture if Titan Clock Man is okay and what if he stays here alone because Cameraman wants to help Titan TV Man to catch and kick the ass of the enemies. And Clockman shows with a gesture that everything is fine and Cameraman can safely go and help his friend. But suddenly someone moves into the same location and judging by the smoke there are a lot of them. The Titans looked at each other and then when the smoke began to dissipate we were shown who teleported here. 
it was skibbity cyborgs and they are very aggressive. Next, the Titan cameraman prepared for battle and that was the end of the first part of episode 34. Well, I guess part 2 will show us how the Titans can handle so many dangerous opponents. I think that Titan clock man will release the protective barrier and at the moment when the missiles will be close to the ground, he will activate the protective barrier in which all Titans will be and thus they will destroy a large number of dangerous opponents and stay alive, but this is just my theory, and what will actually happen we will learn only in the next episode. Also write your theories in the comments, because who knows if you can guess what will happen in the second part of the 34th episode. Also click on this video that's on your screen right now, I tried really hard on it, but it didn't get much attention for some reason.